Hi again, uh, here we are to continue with our discussion of uh, jQuery, add class, and uh, some other stuff, right? And I'm making this uh, dialog box here, and I thought that I'd just throw in a little bonus video where we draw an X in here using CSS, just for fun, okay? So um, how can we do that? Well, imagine what if you had two tiny divs that were, you know, you sized them like little rectangles, and then you rotated them 45 degrees, right? And they would form an X. So uh, why don't we do that? Um, this is my close button here, right? And what I need is I need two elements in here, um, a div and another div. And you could give these class names, um, and you could actually add these with uh, before and after. I'm going to just put them in there just to keep it simple. Um, I'm not going to use a class name, though. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll just use CSS selectors, okay? So if I say close button child div, that should get us both of those divs. And what I'm going to do is my, my circle is 30 by 30, so maybe I'll make the divs, um, I'll give them a width of 24 pixels, okay? And a height of 4 pixels, okay? And a background color of um, oops, of uh, black, okay. And then um, you know if I save that and I refresh it here, now you can see those are my two boxes, right? So now what I want to do is move these to the center, rotate one 45 degrees and the other one negative 45 degrees, and they should form an X, right? So uh, so there's my divs there. And both of the divs are probably going to have to be position absolute. You can see I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this. This is a great practice if you want to learn position absolute, you know. Um, so I'll do position absolute. And then I'm going to put them both in the center, okay? <clears throat> so we can do this a few ways, um, you know. Uh, you know, we could use the method that we used up here, you know, left and top of 50% and then translate, right? This is like a little bit... You know, I mean, you could do this. This would be fine. Um, seems just like a little bit overkill. Why don't we just do the math, though, and just calculate the position? So what I think I'm going to do here is, um, you know, this is 30 pixels, and this is 24 pixels wide. So maybe we'll just set the left to um, 3 pixels, right, because I got... 24 minus 30 gives me 6 pixels, and so half of that would be 3. And then I can say top of, um, and then it's 30 pixels tall, but my guy is 4 tall, so that leaves 26 left over. And if I divide by 2, I would have 13, right? So let's try that. So we'll refresh. Oh, look, now they're both in the middle. So now I just need to rotate them a little bit. So, um, And then I need to rotate one you know, 45 degrees, and one of them, the you know, negative 45 degrees. So what we'll do is we'll just say uh, close button child div colon first child, and that'll give us the first div, and we'll say you are going to, um, and what we'll do is we'll do uh, webkit uh, transform rotate, and what I want to do is rotate the first one 45 degrees. we got to have a unit, right? So I'll put degree in there as the unit. And there's our first one, right? And so now the second one, we'll do dot close button child div colon last child. How about that? And then we'll say uh, webkit transform, uh, rotate, and then we'll do this one negative 45 degrees. There you go, right? So uh, so we did that. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh, look, there's our, our close button. All done in CSS. Nice. So anyway, so hopefully that's useful for you. Um, you know, and you could do more with this. Here's a note on this. Now again, um, since I'm using this thing, I need to include the Mozilla, the Opera, and the, the Transform, right, uh, and, and, and Translate itself, right? And then the other thing is that if you want to combine this with Transform, 
you need to also include transform here. So if I was actually transforming this also, I'm not I'm not here, but in this case, but we would have to include um, oh no, translate my mistake, right? So we'd have to include translate along with the rotate, like all of this goes on the transform property, okay? You know, you could do like, you know, negative 50% or whatever you were going to do there, right? Um, so just know that those have to be combined, right? And, and then if we wanted this to work on on Firefox, we'd have to include, you know, Mozilla and um, Opera and, um, you know, that one also, right? And then I do the same thing down here. Um, this is a little tedious. We won't have to do this in the future, I'm hoping. You know, but something like that, right? Okay, so anyway, so hopefully that's helpful for you, and um, thanks for watching.